What are you reading? The Bonesetter's Daughter. That's an Amy Tan book, isn't it? Yep. Oh, I love Amy Tan. Have you read any of her other books? Uh, yeah, most of them. I've read. Which one was your favorite? I don't know. I like them all. This one's pretty good. The Joy Luck Club was a really important book for me. That's the one about the mothers and their daughters, isn't it? Yeah, I read it when I was about 15, and I really identified with it. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't know very many other Chinese Americans, and suddenly here was this book, and it was like the story of my life. Here at last were some characters that I could identify with. It was great.、Hmm. Thing is, it actually got me interested in China, really, for the first time. My father was born there, and he still has family over there, but he never really spoke very much about it. And after I read that book, I started to get interested, and I wanted to know more. So suddenly, I started asking my parents all these questions, and I wanted to speak more Chinese at home. Wow! Yeah, and then we went there on a vacation shortly after that, and it was like I discovered all this family that we had over there. It was so cool. All because of the Joy Luck Club? Yes, it was really, in a way. Did you see the movie? Oh yes, I did, and I loved the movie too. I felt like that with the Catcher in the Rye. Really? Yeah, I know it's a really typical teenage book. That everybody has to read in high school, but it was a bit like what you felt. You know, you feel that no one understands you, and suddenly you read a book that just describes exactly your experience.、Mm. The kid in the story, what's his name? Holden、oh. Caulfield. Holden Caulfield. That's right. He was always going on about other people being phony because adults just seem so. What's the word? So, so insincere and. Kind of like dishonest or something to him. That's really how you feel at that age, I think. At least that's how I felt. Did you read it in high school? Yeah, and I remember it was the first time I ever liked a book that I had to read for school. After that, I actually got interested in English classes. <laughs> the first book that I remember was Treasure Island. Treasure Island, really? Yeah, when I was little, we'd go to visit my grandparents in Brooklyn on Sundays, every Sunday, and the adults would have a big lunch and talk, and I'd be really bored. But they had a lot of books, so one day I started to look through the books, and I noticed Treasure Island because it had these great pictures of pirates and ships and desert islands. The illustrations were beautiful. Yeah. And then I started to read the story, and I was hooked. And after that, I'd pull out that book every Sunday and read it. It must have been at least a year. When I was done, I just started all over again because it was quite difficult. So a year later, I understood a lot more. I can still see some of those pictures. I've never read. It、Tri、just really appealed to my imagination. For years after that, I used to play pirates and look for buried treasure. That was all I wanted to do. <laughs> That's why books are so great for kids. They open up a whole world of possibilities to you.